Sean Sport in podcast form. You are certain 305 is going to be absolutely outstanding. We get to see uh, Drickers Duplessis take on Israel Adesanya as the main bout. Last year, February 12, it actually was, 2023, yeah. we got to meet Alexander Volkanovsky. He oh. came in the studio. He had a great fight against Mark. And Markachev. he said, I'm not going in there again. Oh, <laughs> he's smarter than that. Last year, Volk, when the UFC hit Perth, you felt the crowd. It was amazing, wasn't it, to be out there? Oh, it was incredible. It really was. Um, I think that's one of the best events uh, the UFC could could have done. Like, uh, honestly, I think it's right up there as one of the best crowds and events uh, the UFC have probably done in history. Like, uh, it was uh, it was incredible. I was uh, obviously very honoured and uh, yeah. proud to be a part of. Uh, but that crowd was just insane. They really, literally blew the roof off. Did I just hear a, a bald ad? Um, yes. As yes. I was coming on. Yes, they, they actually yes. paid more to be near your interview. I was, I was like, damn, that's clever. How good is that? Uh, <laughs> they're called evolved hair if you want to get involved. <laughs> I, I do have to say, though, there was a while there, Volk, that um, uh, the government, uh, the state government, they were looking at UFC and you know events coming to town as being mm. a bad thing because I was worried about the violence. And what I love about that is that that is not the story anymore and the amount Ooh. of fans that have stepped up yes. and been really responsible. There was, there was not one ejection there, from none. UFC last time. There's not none. one. And people got kicked out of the Rod yeah. Stewart concert. Yeah. So, you so, know. So it, it's, it's come <laughs> full circle and now the state government looks at it as, well, how much money is this yeah. going to make for our state? Because the amount of people you don't even realise are in UFC yes. are in it. Yeah, it's... Um yeah, it, it, you're definitely right. Like, you know, obviously it can be something, it's the type of sport that, you know, some people have, especially early days, they're like, oh, a bit, I'm not sure, I'm not sure about this. But as soon as uh, you you work with the athletes or even just with the, the UFC in general, whatever it is, I think, like, I, I felt almost bad. Like, when I fought uh, in February last year, yeah. so many locals missed out because... That many yeah. people come from, yeah, I guess it was all my family and friends and everyone from New <laughs> South Wales, which is obviously obviously great for, you know, that's why yeah. they, they, they want to do these events, right, to bring people in for tourism and, and whatnot. So it did a, a great uh, thing in that case. But I felt bad because I had so many people in Perth that were like, man, <laughs> I'm here and I couldn't even get a ticket to the show. Like, you know, what's going on? I guess there's a good problem to have. Yeah. Um, but, you know... Yeah, I've, I've obviously chatted with uh, you know Perth Tourism, and mate, they are absolutely wrapped with yeah. how things yeah. always have been with the UFC. You know, the couple of the few events that we've did um, have been awesome, and uh, this uh, this week's going to be just the exact same. Yeah, it's going to be absolute mayhem. And the other thing with um, having this fight in WA, so Drickus Duplessis being a South African, yes. the massive amount of South Africans who live in Perth, yes. and we've got the Wallabies on yeah. Saturday yeah. night as well. Like, it's going to be a whole festival going on. Volk, did you go and meet some of the uh, Wallabies players when they were? in town, by the way? Uh, no, I didn't. I wouldn't mind uh, meeting, uh, meeting a few of them, though. <clears throat> but uh, no, I haven't yet. Not yet. But you, we'll, we'll probably make make that happen. So you I went was, to the uh, West Coast Eagles? Yes, we went over there. Yeah, we're over there and um, we're doing because uh, that's where the boys are training. So we've been training there at the West Coast Eagles uh, facility. Great facility. They've got a, a, a cage set up in there and everything. Mm. I'll say octagon, not cage. No, yeah. octagon. Uh, octagon, octagon set octagon. up in there. Yep. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's awesome. It's a... Uh, it's been good. You know, to be catching up with a lot of the players. I think we might even be doing some training later. Yep. Uh, and I think there might be some challenges oh. uh, involved. We usually do that. We usually have uh, people that are new to the team. Yes. Uh, fight yep. week. Uh, we make them do <laughs> like initiation. They've got to do like a, a challenge. And usually they're crazy challenges. So because we're, we're at the AFL's, uh, you know, facility, there might be a lot of running involved or something oh, like that. God, the challenge God. is usually pretty brutal. Uh, so, like, uh, I mean, like, we have guys, like, kicking till the, the last man standing. <laughs> yeah. And no one wants to lose. Yeah. And, uh, you, they go for, like, five, ten minutes just kick, <laughs> kick, kick, kick. So you can imagine a running. I think we could do a, a, a oh, good running uh, sort of thing and just watch people. Oh, that go sounds a bit awful. Of torture. <laughs> I like the it. boys are cutting weight. You know, the boys are cutting weight. They're cutting weight, yeah, of course. Yeah. Of course. Hey, hey Vol. So uh, can you tell yeah. everyone where you are right now? You're doing the interview from. I'm from I'm at uh, at the Crown actually. So I'm no, 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 no
uh, my bed. Yes. <laughs> is that what he's saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So he right you now haven't... is laying back in his bed. <laughs> you haven't got up yet, have yeah. you? <laughs> Talk to me about um, the pillows used by a champion. Mm. Are we? Are you a, a medium, a soft, or a firm? What are we? Uh, oh, that's a good one. Uh, yeah, definitely not a soft, definitely a medium. It's a medium. It's got to be a medium. <laughs> I, want it, I want it to be reasonably firm, but not too firm, obviously. Yeah. Um, and not too soft. I don't like oh. a, a soft Okay, do you, do you sleep on your side with a pillow in between your legs? <laughs> Hey. He's not a pregnant woman. Do I you do. sleep on the side with a pillow in between your legs? A lot I of sports do. Well, people do. The, well, when the back, you know, when the back gets yeah. tight, yeah. actually, you know, that's, that's a good thing you need to do. But, uh, you know, the thing is you need a good medium. You can't have the have it too firm because, you know, I've got to look after my hair. And I don't want to, uh, you need the silk out. pillow slip, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Volk, I want to ask you about Israel in a second because you've trained with him. But before I do that, I see lots of ads with you barbecuing these days. Now, are you good with the tongs? How do you like your meat? Uh, mate, uh, I'm great with uh, with the tongs. Mate. I love the barbecue. I'm actually really good. I was actually at uh, the Don's Barbecue. Yeah, we went over there and did a bit of cooking with Volk. So, um, yeah, it was good. So I've done a, a few little cooking with Volk uh, segments yeah. over here. Yeah. Do you like um, to smoke your own meat, Volk? Yeah, yeah, I like, yeah, I like yeah, of course, mate. <laughs> I'm still in bed, you know. You know. <laughs> yeah, Volk, tell us about uh, working with Israel, because I know you've gone and trained with his group at some stage. That's uh, right. In, in my, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah in my, was, with Israel, did you say? Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, like we've been with uh, with the team all, all week. Yeah, so yep. we are uh, every every five week we're always uh, together. So like we're all one big uh, big family over here. So, um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. So we've all been, as I said, we've been training the West Coast uh, Eagles um, every day. We've been going there and, yeah, and wow. getting our sessions in. So he hasn't fought for eleven months. You've been out of the ring for a while. You always said you like to um, keep busy and keep going as much as. What is it like when you haven't had a fight for a while? Do you get rusty at all? Uh, oh, no, I wouldn't say you get rusty. Like, I mean, one thing that uh, you do, you can struggle with, especially being, you know, me being a competitor and what, as I was champion and, and you know, I was in, locked in like I yes. need to be fighting, you know, because I want to, you know, I want their paychecks and, you know, I've got a job <laughs> to do. It was a responsibility. Yeah. Um, and when I wouldn't have a fight but I was still locked in up here like I need to be fighting, that was tough. But right now I chose to... Have a break, you know. I chose the. You know, this is the best thing for me to sit back and and have a break. So I was able to accept that, and I've been. It's been great. I've been enjoying it. Like you know, been going fishing, cooking with both, You know, <laughs> been doing the adventures. It's been actually. It's been. A, it's been. It's been incredible. I really have been enjoying it. But you know, now I'm starting to pick up the training. Yeah. And I'm starting to flip that switch. Yeah. So I'm expecting. You know, now I now I know I can flip it on. On you know, on and off. Yes. I'm expecting, you know, for me to start getting, you know, that itch and get a bit yeah. uneasy. Like, get me in there, you know what I mean? And I'm sure this weekend, going back to Perth, our, uh, you know, RAC Arena, yeah. 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 Uh, especially after last time, I'm going to be like, man, I need to fight, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm going to be pestering uh, the matchmakers and my, my manager after this weekend, I can guarantee you that. How's, you know, it, how's, like, your, Let's body get something happening. Yes. how's your body holding up? Is it are yeah. you, anything sore? No, uh, no, body's well. Right now, uh, uh, a little bit because I've been uh, smoking his mate. with the boys. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I was a bit late. Uh, to the, to, you know, so I apologise. But um, <laughs> but I've been training with all the big boys. Like for yeah. some reason, here I am a featherweight, and I've got all the heavyweights. Yeah. I'm grappling yeah. with all the heavyweights, which I like to do, but I don't usually do it. You know, uh, sh- it's like I'm getting shark tanked by like three heavyweights, yes. <laughs> uh, forty, fifty minutes straight, or uh, versus these guys the four days in a row. Well, so my body and neck and I'm just yeah, like, oh man, I'm it. starting to feel it now. Uh, yeah. hey, so tonight, so once, once you're done this weekend, do you like, do you have a blowout on food or something? Like how heavy has your training been? How strict does it mean? Uh, yeah, no, I've been, yeah, I've been uh, training, uh, yeah, yeah, like a, a fair bit. Like a, it never really stops for me. Um, it right. wasn't as uh, definitely the schedule that I'm used to because yep. I pulled right back because mm. I wanted to, I wanted second. Uh, I wanted sorry. I wanted uh, fighting to sort of come second. So, uh, well, it's family always come first, but in a sense where yep. I'd work around training. Yeah. Where now I'm I'm training around. Well, especially earlier in the year after the last one, I was training around my family time and and my time, which is something I haven't done for 13, 14 years. Yeah, wow. I literally haven't. So uh, the quality time I was getting with the family, you know, taking them soccer training, taking them to school every day, um, you know, doing a bit of training with them myself, uh, you know, just things like that. Like always, I was always there, but 
I always had to be wary of the energy I was spending because I needed it for my four, three, four sessions a day. Yeah. yeah. So it was, um, you know, it was. It's been great to actually just be able to spend, you know, more time, but actual quality time. Well, Have yeah. days it seems like a healthier, like, you know, long, long term yeah. approach, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, you and know? it's balanced, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. Mm. that's good. Mate. And you need that. And I yeah. guess, yeah. Uh, you know, to be where I was. Look, a lot of people are going to be like, oh, you know, it's. You know, it, it can be hard, but I mean, that's what it takes. That's what yeah. it takes. You want to be elite. You want yep. to be at the top. You want yeah. to look after your sacrifice. family forever. Yeah. All right. There's a lot of sacrifices. There's a lot of hard work, and that's what it takes. Mm. And I'm okay with that. And I know I'm going to have to flip that switch. There's going to be a time again where, all right, you know, fighter's identity. I don't have really have any more energy for anything else. You know, what I mean, just family and fighting. I don't care about me time till my career is done. Yeah, wow. You know yeah. what I mean? So yeah. that's sort of just yeah. how it is, and that's and you have to accept that. And I do. Well, you know, hey, that Vol- was an amazing chat with you, Volker. Thanks to Wayne's Wigs, who sponsored <laughs> that segment. <laughs> if you were here, we know you would choke us out in a heartbeat. So we can say that because we're seeing you on FaceTime. But we are looking forward to UFC 305. Vol- we're massive. looking forward to you getting back in the octagon very shortly. Yeah. But this fight itself at RAC Arena on Sunday is going to be a ripper. We're so grateful you're back in town. Good on you, mate. No worries. Thanks for having me, guys. It was good. Good laugh. I appreciate it. Thank good on you, brother. <laughs> Sean Sport in podcast form. Just want to say, um, we understand that Leanne Rhymes is watching this sports um, oh, okay. segment because we're just waiting to get through some technical difficulties to get her on. So, Gov, yeah. you're being watched by a country superstar. <laughs> by the way, caller honest. number caller number ten will get those tickets right now. <laughs> Thirteen twenty four ten. Gov, Yo. how are you? I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. How are you guys? Hey, let's talk about UFC right now. Yeah, because it's in town, <laughs> yeah, and I um, didn't realize you were a big UFC fan. Yeah, I don't watch much sport, but UFC is the one that I do follow. So, uh, yeah, I've had a few of the boys through the club this week, which has been uh, fanboy. I think for a lot of the few of the boys in there, I think there's a few new fans. A few of them haven't seen <laughs> UFC now. They're the when you're watching them uh, train, the what's things. that like? How how intimidating a presence are they? Oh no, you, we could take them for sure. <laughs> 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 no, nah, they um they they haven't been like. Deep Going into hard, their training, yeah. they've obviously just been trying to stay fresh and yeah. um, throw on some hands and everything else in the octagon that we've got set up at the gym, yeah. which is great. But uh, yeah, it's still intimidating. But there's a part of me that would love to just stand, yeah. be just in there, a, just to crack, see just exactly. See what it feels like. Yeah, because I think we're all a bit naive to think that we can. Yeah, probably or not. We I'm, here to I'm, tell I'm you talking could, for you everyone else, well. but every, everyone <laughs> seems to think that they can take them, but I don't reckon that last a chance. Well, like all sports, there's a, a, an elite level of skill. So for those guys to be put in those positions, yes. which you see on TV, and you go, oh, it's just getting someone just, in the headlock. Yeah. Well, they're not really. They're no, doing yeah. all this yeah. other stuff to be able to get to that point of view. So did you have you seen them have a good wrestle and stuff? And have you picked up anything that you could take in a footy? Yeah. Um, a little bit. They they haven't gone too hard. Like they they put the mats down and do a bit of resting and stuff, and then um, get in the the ring and um, throw some combos and everything else. But um, not not really. We haven't haven't had a lot of time to sit there the whole time. They're with rock them. stars though, right? They are. Yeah. So so what how have they been rolling up to the club? Oh, in style for sure. <laughs> so um, you roll up. In a, you roll up in a Tesla. So that's pretty stylish. Yeah. yeah. What are they, what are yeah, they rolling guess, up in? Oh, you name it. La- I've seen la- Lambos and. <laughs> So oh, Ferraris, Ferrari, Ferrari, yes, Ferrari. They're the other, yeah, they're all they've all been rolling up. I'm thinking, so right, this is the standard that we need to get to as an <laughs> AFL. But not just that. Think about it, right? No, they don't live here, right? No. So they are literally landing in Perth, and then somebody out there has just given them out Lambos yeah. and Ferraris you and wanna... stuff. And then they get to the next place to fight, and then someone there will give them Lambos and Ferraris yep. and stuff. Wild. God. Yeah, it's all, I mean, yeah, it's it's something to behold. Um, definitely a presence, and they've got a good crew. Like you can tell that they're a team, yeah. okay. which which I, I really like that they actually come yeah. in as a team and as a group um, rather than individuals. Yeah. So um, yeah, they're very team focused for such an individual sport is oh, what I probably picked up, yeah. which was which was sick. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you don't get the opportunity to see because you're playing on yeah. Sunday. Yeah. That's a bit yeah, it's a bummer, yeah, it hurt isn't it? Me. Um, as soon as they got released, so we a few of us mates all got a box. Oh. And we're all going to go. And I, because they, they didn't are release the second hurt? half of the year yet. They are your ribs hurting? Yeah, yeah, this was the week I was a little bit sore. And, <laughs> that's, no, as much as I'd love, I'd absolutely love to go. It's um, obviously footy comes first. So, uh, yeah, the boys that's can enjoy the box. Bummer. And it actually ties perfectly. You can go straight from the USC into the to AFL. Footy. Yeah. So they've got a, 
all my mates got a big day. Um, no, I ahead of them, and I'm <laughs> half jealous. But uh, that'll that'll happen in a few years when I'm finished. It's yeah. pretty funny though. When a lot of people they they hate the fact that they've got a event on or something to do while a football game's going, but they're always going to be able to pull out a phone and watch yes. it. Yeah, true. Yeah, you can't do you that because it's that. you on the phone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's right. At a wedding or a birthday party, yeah, you're looking exactly. in the screen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's it'd be a big day, big day for WA and sport in general. Yeah. But um, well, there's think... a lot on because the Wallabies are playing Saturday night as well. Like there yeah, is a lot on this weekend. It's great. I, I, yeah, I'm I'm loving it. it. I reckon the more the merrier. I think yeah. for everyone to get involved over here in Perth. So uh, yeah, it's exciting. Hey Gov, uh, it's been a couple of really good performances over the last um, couple of weeks for the West Coast Eagles. You're Form taking side. on Carlton, who who are devastated by injury. Every Fremantle person will be going for you guys because that will help the Dockers yeah. if they lose on the weekend, which I'd imagine they lose by 10 goals. But I, I wanted to ask you, your performances at the moment has been outstanding. Do you feel like you're seeing the ball like a watermelon? <laughs> All Australia. Um, I, I feel like I'm <laughs> contributing, I guess. I, no, you're I, more than contributing, mate. You are. Um, yeah, look, I, yeah, look I, to be honest, I feel like I've had been in better form than this before, um, okay. for sure. But um, for me, it's just probably been continuity. I've been out there longer. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then you start getting talked about and all this sort of stuff, which is which is cool, um, and I respect it and get it. But at the same time, it's I think it's just because I've actually played footy. I haven't really yeah. played. I played thirty games in three or nearly four years. So yeah. um, just stringing some games together has been great. Whatever and you did trying in, to help us in Qatar clearly has paid off because yeah. you, you have played more games than you know recent memory. That was um, yeah. that was um, a whole different load of different babies' stem cells that you got injected. <laughs> yeah. Wasn't it? No, or was that? Was that no, the, I, so I haven't magic done that. I haven't done the stem cells. No, nah, it's not magic. It's just purely yeah, just a bit of hard work and um, yeah, going good advice. Aspartar, yeah. good advice. Yeah, new program. Um, new fitness. There's a lot of different things. Fitness coach, weight. Coach, there's all these different things yeah. that have helped me get it back out in the park. Which you have has a been poster great. child for that joint. I tell you what. Yeah, yeah. I think there's a few boys going to be going back mm. again this year and. Um, I'll probably go again as well if I can. But, yeah, uh, yeah it, it's helped. Like I said, it just helps you prepare and be out there as long as possible. Um, I feel like my ability has always been yeah. around the mark, yeah. so it's just good to be back out there and contributing. Hey, Gov, um, so I see you wearing jeans today. This morning we talked to a whole bunch of people, um, including Sean and myself, um, about um, giving up buttons and moving into our elastic pant era. Yeah. How far away are you from that? <laughs> What do you mean? I've, I never wear jeans. <laughs> so, I, so, so oh, this is literally the. So is, I, was, I was waiting for you guys to go, oh, you wear pants. Because everyone says well, I never wear strange. pants, which I don't. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll rate them. They just yeah, look terrible, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> just bought them. Comfort over look, I guess. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, yeah, I'm very much an elastic and I'm not a jeans man normally, but. Mm. I thought I'd put them on just just today for you, Nath. So I know oh, we it, appreciate the effort. Very formal. Yeah, yeah, it is a bit formal. I got some meetings and things um, after this. I have a quick question. Um, have we seen the last of Tommy Barris in the blue and gold? Um, What's going on? I hope not. Yeah, no. Look, I don't know any more than what I spoke yeah. about last week, but um, I hope not. But for sure, it'd be it'd be great to obviously have him around the footy club. I'm, yeah, I don't need to say how much I love him, but. Yeah. Um, yeah, fingers crossed he'll be, he'll, we will see him again. But um, I think all oh, that'll pan out over the next couple of weeks. But uh, yeah, hopefully he can get up for us again next weekend. Would yeah. be great. But um, if not, we sort of understand it and get the whole situation. Yeah, yeah he's out of here, Nat. So he'll be playing at <laughs> Hawthorne on a big Good deal. He's getting five years. And that, all the best Good to him. him. Is he going to be guy. on McGovern money? Uh, yes, he will be on McGovern money. <laughs> that is official. The only person I know that's on McGovern money, the only other person is Leanne Ryan. He's listening <laughs> right now. <laughs> <laughs> She's not too far away to stop the news. But the beauty about the West Coast Eagles, Harry Edwards, I really rate yeah. as a player coming through. They've yes. always had great tools in mm. the forward line and in defence. So um, they'll have a guy in a few years' time, Harry Edwards, that is, yeah. that'll be able to step up and play that role. So he just Gar- signed on to Really appreciate yeah. your yeah. time, mate. No, and, no worries. Uh, it's great insight with the UFC, too. So yeah. I hope you enjoy your weekend and get a win. I hope you do. I appreciate yeah. it, guys. Yeah, Thanks. Yeah, Sean's finally barracking really yeah. for the Eagles. Good on you, Gov. Thanks, mate. Sean Sport is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.